<laughs> Look who it is, guys. Today we got a special guest, the good old Bella. Good Say good hi, Bella. Guys. How are you? There she is. Welcome, everybody. How's everybody doing? Today, the show is brought to you by B Dog, also known as Bella. Say hi, Bella. If you're in here, say hello to Bella. That's how we get our day started. Let's do this. Let's do this. Say hello to Bella, everybody. She is she is promoting everything today. She's gonna tell us all about the stock market, everything. Say hi, Bella. There you go. See, there she is. There she is. Hello, Andy. Hey, John. How are you, man? How's everything going? All right, guys. So today we're gonna have a good day, man. Hey, boys and girls. What's up, Trav? How are you, bro? Bob, how are you, man? Jason, what's up, brother? You guys ready? So today we're gonna have a cool show, a little different. There's something a little different we're gonna do. All right, maybe a little bit later we're gonna provide some information about certain stocks we're in and what to do. What's up, Felix? How are you, brother? My man, my disc golf superstar, Felix. Just getting everything set up right now, and we got a heck of a show today. Elliot, what do you think, man? Any reason why this thing, there we go. All right, we got this going. Bella's in the house. Um, such a well. Okay. What's up, Dave? Hey, Lori, how are you? Oh, such a well-behaved dog. Huh? That's what he, he Behaved did. dog. Yeah, no, she's really cool, yeah, man. She'll just chill with me. She'll sit on my shoulder. Come on, Bella. Let's get on the shoulder over here. Show what you could do. It slides off the back. <laughs> no, she just chills out, man. She's like a little cat. All right. So, Ooh. what? What do we got again? Going to Jacksonville in the morning. To All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, good stuff, man. Good, good stuff, Felix. That's yeah. awesome, bro. That's awesome. Uh, Bella, what do you think about this call? Yeah? The only thing she looks at me for, if you really want to see her look at me, all you got to say is say snack. What? What is this sitter? You want the snack? Snack? <gasps> Let's go get snack. Let's go get snack. All right. We got to go. We have a show to do, bro. Let's go, Bella. Give her a little no, snack. Now she's like, no, really. Well, now she knows all about it. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we got a lot to talk about, a lot of things to do. What breed is that? It's a pure Shih Tzu, my your. Oh, I love that dog, man. I, I can't get another dog anymore because uh, nothing's as perfect as my little Bella in my eyes. She set the standard. But everybody else, yeah, everybody else I'm sure has a, a whole different aspect to it. All right, so let's talk about the market. Let's talk about what we're going to do. And I'm going to tell you a couple things I'm going to go over today. We're going to talk about the market, number one. Number two, we are in a bunch of different plays right now. A ton of plays. You have all those plays, right? Um. We're going to talk about some already won. We got three winners, but I also might want to talk about, more. huh? Might have been more. Might have been more. Uh, we had a few winners of it. It's not all of them. I gave you a lot of stocks, but you know what? We're not here to give you some schmoozle stuff. We're not here to BS you, right? Uh, the last thing we want is for you to uh, think that we are full of, you know, bull. And then this backside over here, uh, because sometimes you're in a losing position. So we want to talk about what happens in a losing position and why I'm not getting out of them right now. There is no reason to get out of them. And we'll talk about it. Why? Man, I look crazy today. But that's all part of the show. It's all part of the show. So let's get into it. And we'll talk about that a little later on. So definitely stay tuned, guys. Definitely stay tuned. Because what's going to happen is, hold on, I'm just getting this uh, screen up here. Where'd it go? Here we go. Um, sorry, guys. Just got to move some screens around here. Full of caca. Huh? <laughs> full of caca. Yeah. Oh, man. Is that what he's telling me? That's my stuff. No. Nah, yeah. I'm messing with it. Um, no, we got a good family here, man. I was just talking to Mr. Duff himself from uh, the beer company, Randy Duff. And, you know, just telling him how I, I love spending time with my family. And this is like my second family here. This is where I go crazy. You know, crazy is good for me. It's good for me. All right, my you are full of caca. Good, no, 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 that you're full of caca. Jim Carr, what's up? Stella, one of our new members. Welcome, welcome. How are you? How are you doing? And I heard you talk to Steve. Steve, you told me a little bit about you. Well, very, really looking forward to working with you. So, a couple things. First, when the market, we, we talked about the market, right? I, I mentioned it and I, I definitely give everybody a warning. It was very stretched. Mm -hmm. Yes, this, once it broke here, I, I thought this was a good idea. It was great. 
But because it was so stretched to the gap, it was only a time. And I specifically said it last live. If you haven't seen it, we also have a YouTube channel now. So we, you could check that out as well. Um, but you'll notice it was very obvious from this point that this needs to calm down a little bit. So, and that's all it's doing right now. Yeah, it could have went up a little, but I told you guys, you got to be very, very, very careful with that. Um, so right now it's just retracing. Is it a bad situation? No, it's fine. This is what it's supposed to do. Awesome. I'm glad you're doing good, Stella. And thanks for joining our uh, elite group. She's actually part of our coaching program. If you're interested in getting interviewed to become one of our students that's had some amazing success. Some people are making a hundred grand in like a month or two, which is pretty amazing. If you're interested in that, just comment coaching below and we'll have a guy, Dave Gorbia or um, Anthony O'Neill. We, we, we could set that up. Alex, I'm noticing a lot of stocks you're giving me are stocks that I already picked. So a couple, let's talk about the stocks that um, we looked at. So before we do that, the market, again, guys, if you're going to see, you got to understand what the future looks like. And if, if right now it broke through this line here. So don't be surprised if it goes down a little bit more. It's okay. We want to wait for the swing. I'm not a big day trader. I don't like day trading. I feel day trading is very stressful. You got to time it exactly. And I'm not that good. And nor do I want to be. It's very stressful. It's not what I'm looking to do. I'm, I don't want to be sitting there uh, wasting every single second of my life trying to time it so perfectly because most of the time you end up losing long term. That's what I've noticed because I've interviewed a lot of day traders. And But what swing trading does is a little different. You're really able to see positions. And today I want to go over the benefit of why what I do is pretty cool. Because when you know how to swing trade, when you, when you follow our rules and you do it the right way, the right way, you're able to take a loss and not worry because it's not really a loss. So, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about because you know what? I picked picks for a reason and let's go into them, okay? So the first one, we'll just go over a couple of things that already kind of went in, right? I cannot, uh, which one were winners? Uh, oh, I'm not sure which one were winners or losers. So we had a, uh, huh? Sorry guys, give me one second. I thought we had it here. Um, all right, so we had a few stocks. Where is that page? Uh, I don't know where it is. Sorry about that. I thought I was prepared. I was not, apparently. Let me see here. Um, do you have, okay, here we go. So a couple of stocks that I picked, one of them was SoFi. So somebody already picked it right now. Very good move. We had a nice move to the top on this one. And if you played it good for you, cause that was a big move. I thought this was a nice move to the top here. We had a beautiful, beautiful volume. And you could see it went from 10 to 10 and a half which is a huge percentage. If you really think about it, especially if you play the options on that. So we actually played it ourselves. So. Yep, SoFi was definitely one, I believe, for sure it was, definitely was. Uh, the other one I picked was AFRM. Okay, AFRM had a big move yesterday as well. So we called it out over here, it went all the way to 55. And I still like it right now, even though it had a little bit of a move down, that's okay, because the market's down, totally cool with that. Another one was BROS, another great move. We called it out here, went all the way to 67 and a half, exactly kind of where I was thinking when we did talk about that. So that was a good play, great play to start in the mornings mm -hmm. uh, as far as getting out, not, yeah. not getting in, getting out. And we had CF, beautiful play here we had. Uh, we called it out here. It's now even higher today. So it looks like it's continuing to go up. I would not get out of this one. It's yeah. continuing to make profits. Woo! Now, let's talk about a bunch of stocks I called out that are not necessarily winning. Well, here's the thing. The, I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to do what we do, you want to be patient. You want to be strategic. It's not about, uh, here's what I will tell you. I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm going to stop the video right now because this is very, very important. This is where I see a lot of people mess up. When you get into a stock and you you put in $1,000, let's say, just throwing a number out there. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, the day later, you are down $400. Oh my God, what did this guy tell me to do? He got me into something crazy. And if you're in day trading, you're basically this out of luck, mm -hmm. okay? You could pick whichever one you want. You're definitely something out of luck um, because you can't recover. If you get it wrong, you can't recover very, very hard. 
and it becomes stressful. So it's a chase game. Not what we what we do. When I, when I buy something, I buy options. I buy longer term options. Okay, longer term options. Um, and because of that, I, I don't mind seeing. I've had stocks where I invested in, and I was down forty forty five hundred dollars, ten thousand dollars sometimes. And then recovered within a week and was up five. That's a normal situation. You're not always going to call it the right way. I'm not saying I always do. I would say probably, well, not this month, apparently. It was 100% for a while. But most stocks I call out are going to be going down at some point. That's just going to happen. I mean, I'm not saying we're going to time everything like this. If you're looking to do that, drop off this channel. It's not going to happen, guys. It's just not going to happen. What you want to know is you want to have a game plan of exiting. Okay, so right now, a lot of the stocks we're going to go over are not making money right now, but I'm going to show you why I like them and why I would not get out of them. Because you got to understand if you're in it, just because your account is saying I'm losing, you should kind of sometimes ignore that if you understand what the strategy is. So the more logical you stay, the better it is. And if you like what you're hearing right now and you're interested in checking out, one of my great strategies, my bounce profit formula, definitely recommend you start there. So it's a webinar, gives you a great foundation. All you got to do is comment webinar below, comment webinar below, and Dave or Anthony are going to get back to you and they're going to send you the link. They're going to DM you and they're going to send you the link. So definitely check that out. Comment webinar below. Don't miss out if you haven't seen it yet. Um, uh, okay, cool. So let's get back to here. So let's look at some of these stocks. So one of the stocks I called out here was um, Ford. Okay, Ford. And Dean made it, so that's good. <laughs> awesome. Um, I liked Ford. I thought this was a good play. You know, I, and, and listen, I'm going to tell you guys when I get something wrong. At the end of the day, it's all about getting more right than wrong. So far, we we were at ninety eight percent. I don't necessarily hate this one. I say so. When when you called this out, it was below seventeen and a half. So it made a big move. Yeah, it did. Here. So yeah. well, it did technically. So it was a winner. This was a winner. This was a winner. Uh, I don't. But I also want to be. You know, yeah, sometimes we miss out. So let's just say there's a couple of things. One, I like this when it was seventeen and a half. We collected thirty cent profit. That's a huge gain already. But let's just say now I called it over here. Okay, I called it over here. I'm thinking, hey, it could do even more damage here, but it didn't. Well, let's look at what happens. So let's just say, and we're going to zoom in a little bit here. Let's zoom in together, guys. Boom. Actually, no, let's do it a little differently. You guys down for a little differently? Let's do it a little differently. Um, how's everybody feeling, by the way? I know I'm just babbling away here. Babbling away. But I want to go to a two-month chart just so we could zoom in and see exactly what I'm talking about, okay? If, a, if we're swing trading, a swing trading compared to day trading, day trading is intraday. Whatever you do today, that's it. And here's another thing. A lot of people don't want to get into trading because they, they need 25 grand to start. That is not true. I don't know why people think that. Yeah, there's certain rules. What? But yeah, I'm feeling glad to be here. Oh, great, man. <laughs> And you know what? I'm glad to have you. Um, but here's the big thing. Mayur loves to, Mayur like brings his inner <laughs> clown out. I love that. I love that. People want to be them. If you guys want to be clowns here, as long as you don't say anything, you know, bad or, you know, Will Smith-like, that we were good to go. You know, we're good to go. But I want to show you something. The reason I like this stock, because swing trading could be three days, could be two days, could be five days. Could be seven days, sometimes even three weeks. Okay. So it's not long term of years, could be, but it's a certain amount of days. So we had two days that are bearish. But let's go back in time and say, hey, you know what? Let's just say I was over here and I called the stock out here. And then this stock tanked one day, two day, three day, bounced off this 200 day moving average. And what happened then? Popped open again. Okay, popped open again. Now, would I have made a ton of money here? Maybe not. First, I wouldn't have called this play out to begin yeah, with. Like, I'm just saying, <laughs> hypothetically speaking, hypothetically speaking, yeah. if I would have done that, we would have broke even at least. If we would have just waited, if we would have just waited, that's one way. Now, let's just say we have this play. 
here, which I would have called out probably, where you come down here, right? And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, um, oh, no, I'm sorry, over here. I would have probably called this out over here. It broke all the averages. I like this play. So I'll be, I'll be honest with you. If you would have asked me here, there's a good chance I might say it might need a little pop open over here, but I never, I could see you playing that. But what happened was next few days, down, 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 down. Your account is now negative, whatever. But you didn't realize something because stocks when swing trading bounce off averages. Mm -hmm. So because they bounce off averages, guess what? We could specifically wait for this bounce to happen and then boom, all we had to do was wait a week and not freak out. It's going to, that's what happened. So now going back to the, the time now, I feel like we're going back to the future, future to the back. Mm -hmm. But now we're, now we're in the future to the back, back to the future. If you look here, stock went up, now it went down. Yeah, I'll be mad enough to tell you if I did not collect here where I wanted to, could have happened, but we're here to learn. Now we're down two days and I'm gonna tell you here, I'm gonna tell you something else. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something else. There's a good chance this thing goes down to even a little bit further. But because I'm in a long-term option, what I mean by long-term, 40 days, 50 days, doesn't mean you have, to, you have to wait for that, but you give yourself time. And if you understand options and if not, I strongly recommend you check out our coaching program. Comment coaching below so you could learn how to make money on this. You know, we're, we're taking some interviews. So definitely recommend comment coaching below. All you got to do is pop back up and now we're making money. So you want to keep track of something like this. Now, do I, do I just uh, randomly say no blindly? No, 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 no. We are not going to go anywhere. You know, we're just going to stay there. I don't care how down it goes. No, that's just dumb. But if it goes past these lines, I might have to take a loss. But the chances are it's been pretty consistent. I don't, it, once it goes past that line, it takes time for it to go down. Look, and even when it does, it comes right back up. So I like what I'm seeing right now. Would I take a loss? Maybe, but not yet. It has not shown me enough to take a loss, okay? I am waiting for that next swing. And that's the beauty of swing trading. It is the best way in my eyes to make money. If you're trading options through swing trading, it gives you the ability to be a little wrong. It also gives you the ability to make money with a smaller bank account and still make a ton of it. And the people who are in here who have taken our course, you know that for sure. So now that we got that out of the way, let's look at another one. You want a little... Uh, rescue uh let's check out um netflix call this one out oh no we are down well yeah we're down because the market's down but is it killing us well based on this what it's showing me is we had a flag pattern that popped up and i was i, I told you guys <laughs> i said i was very i made an emotional call on this and everybody called me out on it because i like netflix but here's why I made it, and I'm going to explain it to you even more now, okay? So we're going to change our, uh, from now on, we're going to look at a, a smaller chart bracket just so we can zoom in. And if you like this type of a class, let it be know. If you're liking um, me going over these type of things, comment some hearts below. Um, and we're going to try to get through all these stocks, but because we're doing the lesson, we might not get through all of them. I'm just giving you a heads up right now. Um, but yeah, when we're looking at something like this, same thing. I knew that this may come down, but I said, you know what? No big deal. Thank you for the hearts, guys. I'm glad you're enjoying the show. Thank you. Thank you. If it's coming down, guys, it's bouncing off this average. Worst case scenario, it bounces off this average. Now, you might say, oh, my God, if you just look at your bank account. What up, Duff? Duff is in the building. What's up, Randy? Um, if, you're, if it comes down, yeah, it looks like it's a lot. It's 20 points. Oh my God, you're freaking out. Well, you're freaking out. I'm not freaking out because of what I'm waiting for is that same bounce. It's been bouncing off the average. So maybe it'll take you a week to make money. So what? But when it does, mm -hmm. woo, you don't want to. So that is one thing I'm going to tell you. If you're into options, we teach you how to buy the right options. So you have plenty of time. So you don't mess up. Okay. You want to make sure you buy the right ones that are very profitable. 
Glad I remember correctly. You said you yeah. liked it for you, but not right now for anyone else. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. And um, yeah, I, listen, um, today I wanted to do a little something different, John. I see, I see, I like people like they're, try, you know, I see a lot of people trying to throw shame. But this group doesn't do that. I, like they, they try to really support me. I appreciate that, John. Thank you. Yeah, and I, I want to make sure people understand. I have no problem showing losses. I want you to understand what I'm doing. Because at the end of the day, anybody who tells you they're at hundred percent—I mean, I was—that's it's publicly <laughs> shown. But I'm not going to be at a, always at hundred percent. That's not the case. You got to know the reality of what you're getting yourself into. But you also want to know when to get out. So, yeah, you're right. I did not tell it for everybody, and I'm not trying to justify that. What I'm trying to say is, if I would have gotten in on it, I want you to understand the mindset, and that's all that matters. Is what I'm thinking, how I'm thinking, so you guys can make better decisions and not focus on the uh, news or social media, people telling you, get in, get out. And you're like, why? What's going on? That's why this group is called Stocks to Buy and Why. So you could make your own decision. Uh, we'll look at a few more. Square, same thing. Square is down from what I told you. 100% down. Um, not 100%. Yeah, I was going to say, hold on, not 100%. But I mean, I just, just... <laughs> but here's the thing. It went through, went <laughs> up. It was a good call, man. It was a good call. This is what happened. Could still be a good call. Do I think this may go down a little bit more? There's a good chance it hits 130. But we're looking, if I look at the overall pattern, we're still following it. So why would I get out of it? If it breaks the green line, we got a problem. So I know I'm watching it. If it gets to 130, maybe 129, um, I'm going to start looking at it. But even if it gets to 115, if I have enough time, what do we see? We might see a little bit of an upswing coming down, but it's only two days with the market reversing. What happens if that market starts going up? These things will hit hard. And again, we already got out of four. We got profits. So hope that really helps you guys out and understand what I'm talking about here. You are in a foodie? Yeah, a fake guru, a furu. Oh, I never heard that. <laughs> I never heard that. Furu. I heard like, uh, I don't want to say that. All right, uh, let's go to next. Um, another one, ZM. Same thing. Is it? I don't see it being bad, but if you look at an account and you see negative 500, negative 700, oh my God, oh my God, we're in problem. I love you too, Mayor. But when I'm seeing this, and I'm seeing how great it's protected by those moving the average. I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. It's been so long in this position. It's been such a long time that now it broke through. I feel confident in this. So that's the dilly silly billy. Let's go with another one. I want to kind of really embed this thing in you guys. You know what I mean? Um, so a lot of these stocks I just realized, I think are in that. ARKK um, ETF, and they all look the same. Yeah, and that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Listen, we made, we made a call. I'm not saying it's a bad call. What I'm saying is it didn't make money the next day. Yeah. Sometimes people believe that I call something out, and I think that is. Nobody really told me, but they might feel like, I don't know, man. It didn't make money right away. People want things to happen yeah. right away. If that's what you're looking to do, I'm going to tell you right now, either number one, you're going to be very stressed out, or two, you're going to lose a lot of money. You'll make some and you'll lose some really quick. And if you ever try day trading, try it. If not, if you have, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, let's go into the next one. Um, We got, what do we do? Uh, oh, the ARKK is next. All right. Uh, ARKK? Mm -hmm. Same thing. I love this one. In fact, let me tell you something else I would do here. I would put more money in. It's called uh, scaling your positions, right? So if I'm in here and I already lost some money here, I could put a little bit more here because guess what? If it follows this, it's just going to make more money. So you got to understand these are the things we start teaching you in coaching. And if you haven't gotten coaching, comment coaching below. Let's set up an interview for you and get you going. All right. Because this is really going to help you out big time. Um, all right. So. We'll look at one, a couple of the ones I've seen Uber, somebody asked for, right? Yeah, someone did ask. Um, Uber, same thing, man. I thought this was a good play as well. Market's down. And you might see this come down a little bit more. As long as you're okay with seeing some negatives on your bank account or in your portfolio for temporarily, it's still following this trend. I'm okay with it coming down to that much and being totally okay. When you have that mindset, the emotional mindset is not going to throw you off. 
it's not going to throw you off. Okay. Stay true to your system. Okay. Stay true to your system. AMD is really down. I never did AMD, but I could look at that for you. Yeah, that was last week's. So. Uh, yeah. So AMD, I'm going to look at that for you, Stella. Last Thursday. Yeah. So AMD, I like this stock. I told you guys, if you're in it, get out of it. 125. Yep. Uh, this is where I called it out right here. I think it was this day yeah, right that, here. That nice pink candle, yeah. Yep. So we got all the way to 126. So this was a time for you to really leave this. If you And if you look at it, it made sense. It hit the resistance perfectly, perfectly where we needed it to be. So it's a good, you know, that was a good time to get out. This was normal. Now this, you got to be careful because this is looking even more down. It's looking down, increasing volume. Um, I'm, not, let's, I'm not very bad news. I don't know if you're in this stock, but there's a good chance it could come down to all the way here. Um, but that was a good play at the time. PLTR was another, uh, Visa. Somebody asked me about Visa. I love this play. I thought this was a good play. I didn't like the gap. I didn't like that gap, but I thought it was okay. Again, bouncing off the average. Now it's reversing. Still in this beautiful pattern. Why would I get out of it? Why would I take a loss? And then, you, you know what happens to a lot of people? <laughs> Come, uh, give me, uh, mm -hmm. comment me if this happened to you. You're in a stock, you get in there. You're like, yes, I know this is going to do good. It goes down. You get out of it because you don't want to take a loss. And then this thing just freaking flows up. Anybody have that? Anybody have that happen? Definitely. Yeah, Mayur. See, Mayur knows the deal. It's It happened to many, many people. Okay. And it's because of the fact that, guess what? <laughs> you just, you're not following the strategy all the time. It might happen either way, but if you're following the strategy, it works. I could, I could have a lot of people here attest to it, that, that if you follow the steps, they're there for a reason. Cool. Um, all right, so let's check out some stocks, guys. <laughs> uh, overall, guys, I, I just want to see. Uh, we went half hour into a lesson. I really wanted you to kind of understand how my mindset is working with this. If you enjoyed that part of it, if you want to see more of that, can I get a comment of more? Be and I'm going to take a vote. We're trying to see do you like me doing lessons like that on this channel to give you more knowledge of a how the insight of trading. If you like that, let me get the comment. Let me get a more as a comment so I could see, please. Okay, nobody commented more. No more lessons. No big deal, guys. All right. Mas. Nope, that's not more. Mas means uh, less in Russian. No, it does not actually. No, no, no. Jim Carr with more. Okay, I appreciate it. So we, uh, Elliot's going to count up all the mores. And if we could get like 15 mores, we're in good shape. No one can win every trade. That's impossible. As long as you can win more than you lose and can limit. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's a very, you know, we're going to like that comment, Robin. I like that comment. Very good one. You're right. That's a, I can't say it any better than that. Much mass, boss, more mass, most. All right. Thank you guys. Are you counting all of them? Cool, cool, cool. All right. So now let's get into a couple stocks and see what we got going on. Now, Today, we're not going to call up probably too many unless I see something because it's Thursday. So we, we really try to make plays on Tuesday, but we're going to look at some of your stocks here. We got a lot. All right. Uber, we just looked at. What's next? Uh, UPST. UPS? UPST. Oh, UPST. <laughs> yeah, I hear the one. Uh, yeah, a lot of people. Who keeps asking for that? I think it was UPST. Somebody? Yeah, it keeps coming. Up. Yeah, so this one here, again. If I was in it, I wouldn't get out of it, but this is following. I wouldn't really got into it to begin with. It's still in this downtrend scenario here. I'm not a fan right now, not a fan right now, but I would like to see it pop open a little bit. If it gets to like 133, 140 would be safe. It's breaking that trend. Then I would like it. Until then, we're going to keep it on the DL. XOM. XOM. Again, same, similar things. This one has a, a little bit of a flatness mm -hmm. on the uh, momentum. I like the momentum here, but I don't like the momentum here. Um, the volume's kind of decreasing a little bit, but um, I do see that it's kind of forming this consolidation. I need to see it break it. So if it gets to like 180, I would say 87. Oh yeah, I would say that's the number right below there. We are 87, uh, then we could play it right now. No good because we could see it would definitely go to the downside as well. It's still unconfirmed. Um, I N D O. I N D O. 
All right, and INDO looking all right, not really. Way below its two short term averages. Be very careful with that one. Unless it gets through uh, 37. Hold on, I did not properly look at that. Yeah, we need to see it get past this line. So if it gets like 42, 43, we could see a nice move. Personally, I just don't like the stock to begin with. And just there's too much of volatility. So I just would not trade this. There's way too little bit of a volume, but so I just wouldn't trade that. I S I G. I S I G. Ah, uh, yeah, GTE went down, sitting waiting for what's up, John Lapardo, Derek Hewitt, Wayne Norris. How are you? How's everybody doing? Okay, we got some more. Gigi, how are you? Marcus Mullet. Uh, Dean Young, thank you for all the more. I think we got a lot, right? Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed that part of the show. What's to next? Oh, this one. Oh, I, I get why you didn't. G oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, this one here just kind of popped open, but I'm not too much of a fan of this one. Uh, there's just, uh, again, uh, it's, I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't like the gap. When I see the gap, it could be too much. And you can see the volume's always down. They had one big pop, that's all. G-E-R-N. G-E-R-N, same thing. One big pop, and now it's coming down. Not something I want to play at all. These are like news-driven bio stocks yeah, where, like you know, um, they 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 work more of catalyst. L-A-C. Glad, glad you're doing good, Wayne. Uh, Boon me, how are you? Huh? Oh, L-A-C. L-A-C. I forget who gave that to us. That was... Um, spoke about this one last week. Was it too. Bob Benish? I'm not sure. There was a couple of people that mentioned it just now. Um, yeah, so this one here, man, you know, if it's popping open, if you're in it, do not get out yeah. of it. The volume is extremely high. It hasn't had this type of volume, it looks like, ever. I'm going to say I do like it. I think it has a chance to play all the way to 42. I don't see it stopping. I don't see it stopping. The volume is too high. Um, so I think we, this is a good one to play till tomorrow. So where's the next? Um, SLI. SLI looking all right. So I'm not a fan of these type of stocks too much. Um, but the volume's pretty good. I'm going to say if you're in it, stay in it. I think it has another good day till tomorrow, but nothing more. Uh, so far. So oh, five. We spoke about that one. Huh? We already talked about that. Yep. Uh, T E V A. Teva. Okay. So Teva. Um. Oh, uh, I feel like it's a little stretched. I do like the the charting, but I feel like um, when it got past the two hundred day moving average yesterday, I would have gotten in on it. But I feel like it's kind of coming to an end right here. It, the volume's kind of beginning to shift down. Um. I just think, I don't think it might have, it could go a little bit higher here, but I think it, we need to see it retrace a little bit before it starts going back up again. N-E-E. -E. You got to be careful when you see these gaps, man. Yeah. Sometimes those gaps could be, really throw you off. N-E-D. N-E-E uh, -E is a little stretch. Now, if you notice, it's, it's starting to like just climb a little bit, but here's the problem with something like this. When they climb up like this, you know, look, like, you don't know when it's going to stop and it could take a certain days and then it just drops. So when I see it leave that line, when it's like kind of floating, there's always that chance for a big drop. And you can see it's always dropping to that line. Those are called swing points. This is healthy. So I would not want something like this because we don't know when that's going to happen. Thank you for uh, all those uh, hearts, man. Who is that? I can't tell. It's hard to tell in these pictures sometimes. Who is that person giving us all that heart? I can't see. Oh, Chris, Christian. Christian, how are you, my man? Good guy right there. One of our elite members as well. Where's the next? L-Y-V. L-Y-V. Um, so L-Y-V got a situation. Let's see. Yeah, so it's kind of like uh, right here. It's, it's the, at its resistance. Not right now, I wouldn't get anything. So I feel like it's kind of stuck in this channel. For me to really invest in something like this, I would need to see it hit 128, break through all those channels and finally get through something. Big news event coming up in uh, mid-April, Fed likely increasing interest rate by 50 points. Would be this? Would this be something to consider and be more cautious till we get through that event? Absolutely. So I wouldn't worry about too much of that event until it actually happens. So when, they, when the announcement happens, you don't want to be in any positions. 
So I would say no news is good news means uh, you don't, you, it, when I say no news is good news, it doesn't mean you ignore the news. You just stay away from the news. You don't try to guess what the market's going to do because that's gambling. We just want to specifically say, oh, there's the news. Let that thing kind of go. And then we get in. What's up, Jordan? How are you, man? What's your next? Uh, T-L-L. T-E-L-L, excuse me. T-E-L-L, looking uh, very stretched, man. Very stretched off its average. Be very careful with this. This is a very naked play, I call it. Uh, R-E-I. <clears throat> R-E-I. Um, yeah, so this one, same thing. It's a little stretch off its top over here. It just hit there. Now it's an inverted hammer, so you really want to be careful with something like that. Oh, Ford. Huh? Uh, Ford, we looked at. J and J. Same thing, guys. Uh, very, especially, so the other thing you got to be careful is counter-trending. The stock is going, the market's going down. This is going up. Sometimes those don't end up well. Because again, when you see those really high moves, you might see a real downturn. Really high moves, real downturn. Really high moves, downturn. You get the idea of what I'm saying. Boom, boom. Next. Uh, Walmart. Uh, Walmart had a few beautiful days, man. Why don't, we, why don't somebody show me Walmart before? It was like two, three weeks ago, I think. Back yeah. here, exactly. Those that there. Yeah, I think there. we called it out there. before. I thought it was a good play before. Now it's hitting this resistance. You got to be very careful. At this point, it's time for it to come down. This is a lot of times when people get in on play because they don't know what they're doing. They think, oh my God, I'm, I lost out. FOMO, FOMO, FOMO. Let me get in. Let me not lose. And then boom, you lose. You were late to the party. Uh, Mara, M-A-R-A. Mara, uh, definitely not something I would invest in right now. There's an, you could see the bearish, um, you, got, you got the bearish momentum in this over here. Coming up, uh, volume's decreasing. It's coming to the downside. I mean, we, we have to wait for a bounce on that one. So not, not on this one. Sorry, guys. Um, T-W-I. T-W-I. This could be a good one. This could be a good one. I just don't like the volume on this one. It's 153. So, but this could pop up right here. However, especially if you're playing options, be very careful. When I see the volume at 153,000, it's just a dangerous situation. Um, VTNR. Uh, VTNR on the chart is looking very nice. Okay, very, very nice. Volume is up. Um, If I had to play it. If I had to play it, let's see here. She is too funny. Um, yeah, I would say um, no, because the resistance is hitting here. So I would say no on that one. <clears throat> What's next? Cop, C-O-P. Cop, uh, cop's looking pretty good. I think Dave picked that one. Um, and what's good about it is how it's bouncing. Look at the pattern in this. So we got good volume. I think the volume is pretty decent on this one. And the fact that it's kind of holding this its own right here mm -hmm. is really nice. So what I look at this is kind of like the stocks I'm in right now that are going down or are down. Guess what? They come down here, but now I'm waiting for that next swing point. Beautiful swing point situation coming up at a theater near you. Good job, Mr. Gorbia himself. And mm -hmm. if you guys want to talk to Dave Gorbia, he's the guy who could help you out with a webinar where you could learn how I do this exact stock. I would trade this stock every single week and make money. All you got to do is comment webinar below. Okay. Webinar below. And um, <clears throat> we could get you the link for that. And if you're interested in coaching, comment coaching below. We'd love to uh, definitely talk to you about mentoring you one-on-one -on -one and getting you to a point where you could leave your job and do other things in life, spend time with your kids, take more vacations because you have a cool income coming in where you could just kick your boss to the curb. How cool would that be? Where to next? Uh, GTE. He made a good point. He, he called that one out because it was doing what you were talking about earlier. Yeah, well, see, look, we had a lesson and we had a good pick. I think it's a good pick. <laughs> and everybody loses money. Oh, no. Um, yeah, so this is this one, uh, again, um, it's very cheap stock. I'm not a fan of these type of stocks. Option just because if you do an options, it could really throw you off. But um, it's just kind of right here right now. I would like to see it break off of this, and maybe then we could get into it. But I personally just wouldn't trade this. U S O I. You went through all those? Yeah. Oh, we going through some of them were um, already spoken. About. Cool. Uh, stay away from this one right now. It's showing to the wait. Is this the, one of them was a put? Oh, that was the, oh yeah. yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so it's just breaking down. It's moving the average. That shows a, that's a bad sign. That's a confirmation of bearishness. So definitely stay away from this one for sure. Um, path. 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 Oh. Just had earnings. Yeah, so you you know obviously it threw off its pattern. Throw you know this is pattern. just you know people might say oh man um you know buy low sell high this could keep going lower than it's the volume is just too much so stay away from that for sure. S box. S box. I haven't heard that one in a while. Right. And it's looking all right, man. I like this one. So it's looking like it's coming up. Um, Coffee's back in. Coffee is back in. So I know they struggled for a while hmm. with the, the employment and everything like that. I'm going to say I, as long as you buy the right option, I personally like this one. I don't know what's going on with the coffee. I like this one. It's now going through because I think it's going to get back to where it was. It's just kind of going through the whole post COVID thing. But I warn you, if you go into it, there is a chance it might come down to 88 and you should be okay with that. It might. And then it's going to do that. But I have a good feeling about this one. If I, if you really want to be a little bit more logical on it too, I would see, I would like to see it break through this line here. So if it gets to like 95, 96, I would definitely get in. No question about it. What's next? Um, <clears throat> Frey, F-R-E-Y. Frey, uh, so Frey just went up and now it looks good as far as volume and everything like that. Nice candle. However, you know, it's just hitting this point right here. Uh, so it's breaking through resistance. I um, I like the volume. I like the volume. Whoa, um, huh? I was wondering. <clears throat> On something like this, I'd like to see a little go further out, right? Like just how much higher can it go? Is the reward worth the risk? Yeah, th that's what I want to see. So let's see here. Let's go two years out. Let's really look at this. Uh, well, let's go on a weekly. Like a massive head and shoulder. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean... That's a, that's a, a, has to be a longer term play, yeah. a longer term play. So I do think you could get to like 13 for sure. But when you're looking at it here, it is kind of a risk. So to me, like you said, risk to reward, I feel like it should come down a little bit more before it comes back up. Cause what you don't want to do is get into it, fall in love with these type of weeks. And then the next week it does this. <laughs> and that's kind of what this is look like. It might get set up for. So be very, very careful. Um, CHPT. CHPT, um, just not moving too much. And I don't like that it's not moving near its average. So sometimes, a, a lot of times, actually, you'll see this fall down to the like 19 mark, right around this green line before it continues to go up, kind of like it did over here. You can see it went up, 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 coming right back down. Yeah, it could get to 21, but the risk to reward again, not something I would do. Um, KOS. KOS. Uh, right. So if you look at the swing points, right, you kind of want to look at what that is. Again, I, uh, if you haven't seen the, the webinar, check out the comment webinar below, because this is what is exactly what it's going to teach you. The six steps on how to make money on the stock. But the stock's just going up, going up. Uh, and every time it goes up, it comes down, going up, comes down. So while if it's up with an inverted hammer, why the heck would we invent, invest in it now? We want to see it come down first. Next. Uh, Z to the downside. Z to the downside looking. All right. I see what she's saying here. I like that to the downside. I like it to that. So it's breaking all the averages. Um, volume looks like it's above it. At, yep. Looking pretty good. I like this one. What do you think? I, I like it. Yeah. I think it's a good call. It looks fresh. I think it's a good call. And you could see it at least get down to 48 at least. So a couple dollars there. And if this crosses that, you know, you could even see a 45 in that one. So, yeah, I would say this is a good one. Um, we got love and then you ain't same industry air, you know, airplanes. Um, all right. So this one here, I don't know. Um, I don't like that it's below the 200 day moving average. I don't like that the fact that it's kind of going in this direction. I'd like to see if I had to invest in it, I'd need to see it at 50. I want to see it break through because right now these little moves uh, could be dangerous to the downside. So you could see this, it's kind of doing these things here and it's coming too close to that. I just personally um, would not invest in this, especially when you're seeing decreasing volume, which is a, the big part. Decreasing means it's getting kind of stretched already and exhausted. Uh, UAL probably looks very similar. Eh. 
Yeah, now this one got past it, but very little. Again, decreasing volume. Just be careful with things like this. It already kind of gapped up. These are the type of stocks you are very dangerous because it looks good, but the gap means it's already kind of getting exhausted. Decreasing volume, not what I want to do. And then THO to the downside. THO to the downside. Uh, yeah, looking good. Nice volume. Um, I would just be careful because I just feel like it's been stuck here for so long. I would be a little scared. Like it's, it's just kind of like, but I see what you're saying. I would see what you're saying. So um, here's what my problem. You see here, it kind of did the same thing. And, and then it just popped. I mean, it did pop down. So if you're going to stay in it, maybe for one day. One day, I wouldn't do more than that because I think this big swing is coming back up. Uh, FSLR. FSLR. Uh, FSLR stuck in the resistance right now. So it's still right here. Kind of chilling out. See what we could do. I think it's going to do its thing, but we need to see it get to 95 for us to feel safe about it. What's the next? Costco. Oh, typed that in wrong. Costco. Costco, um, yeah, we talked about this one last week. Somebody asked me about it. Um, I liked it when it was popping up here. I thought it was good. But now that it's kind of over already at the top here, volume's not that crazy for a Costco stock. I think it's kind of stretched. I think you're going to see it kind of come down a little bit. Very similar to what it did right here. Mind you, it could do one of these, but again, the risk to reward is just too too much, especially when you have like news like the feds coming up. Yeah. These type of stocks are the ones that are gonna hit. Uh, BAC to the downside. Bank of America. Wow, man. Financial district. So let me look at the uh, first. Let me look at the financial district. I'm gonna know, say no on that one. And the reason is when I look at the sector itself, I don't know how I feel. Like it does show that we have a good momentum to the downside. But the, the volume is decreasing to the downside too. So mm -hmm. that's another thing. Um, and when it's coming up like that and it's bouncing off the average, I could see this very easily turning around, very easily turning around. So if that's the case with the financial district, financial industry, then yes, I see what you're saying, but I have to follow that along as well. On top of that, you know, you also got to look at the fact that it's kind of hitting this resistance right here, which is really close. So I'm going to say I'm not a fan of that right now. There's too many things, too many variables. I do see what you're seeing. It broke through all the averages, but the, the momentum's good. The volume's slightly lower, though, where I need it to be. I mean, it's good volume, but um, I just wouldn't. I wouldn't risk it just in case, especially if we have a turnaround tomorrow. But, yeah, it's a 50-50 shoot on this one. So that's why when I'm 50-50, I, I don't mess with uh, cat. Caterpillar could be good. Could be good. Is it good now? No. So, but, and there's a lot of things pointing not in the right direction. So it looks like here it's kind of breaking through this average, but I would really like to see it break here, if anything, especially the fact that we have decreasing volume and we, we're seeing a little uh, consolidation here. Uh, the, the momentum is shifting to the downside. So this just looks like it might come to the downside fairly quick. EVGO. EVGO, same thing, it has a consolidation on here. So when we're looking at something like this, you know, EVGO has a beautiful consolidation coming up, right? But again, volume is very low, very low volume, decreasing volume. So you don't, and that's okay. That's okay in a consolidation. But you need a confirmation. So if it gets to like 14 or something, we could talk about it, or maybe 14 and a half, definitely get in on it. But there's a good chance it could fall down, and then you have to re, you know, really, really recoup because it could go down all the way to 10. Next. Uh, MVIS. Is that micro vision? MVIS. Um, this one's following the trend here as far as the swing trading, but um, you want to see it uh, confirmed to the upside. So right now it's going to the downside. Uh, if it gets around here, again, $5 is a really cheap stock, so be very careful with things like this. But if it comes down, it does have a good consistency. Get it to around here. And if you see a nice candle to the upside, you go in. Uh, if Wix breaks 110 with volatility, it can be a nice run to 180. What is it, Wix? That's interesting, the volatility. If it breaks 110, yeah, 
So yeah, it could be a um, 180. I see what you're saying. Uh, it did. Um, it could. It could. I know what you're saying, but at sometimes. Yeah, a longer term, yes, yes, longer term, absolutely. But the uh, shorter term, I think it's just gonna fly up. But you are correct. You are correct in that. Whoever said that, Jordan, Jordan, my man. What's next? XP to the downside. XP to the downside. That looks all right. I like this one. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's coming down and broke the averages, and um, you're seeing all the to the downside. The volume's pretty good. Uh, hmm. you just got to be careful with one thing here. If you look, it's kind of hitting this point, no? Yeah, there's a lot of activity in this. So I would say area. I need to see it at, at around 29 first. If it gets to 29, then I think it would get down. But you want it to break this uh, pretty well because you could see it's rejecting it. What's next? WWR. WWR. All right, WWR, uh, this is just a cheap stock, a lot of volume, but it's stuck here. I don't like the fact that um, it is a lot of volume. It is a lot of volume. Like if I was going to take a gamble and strictly a gamble on volume. Uh, on volume and say, man, this thing could really pop open. And if you're into that type of trading, then this would be it. This would be it. I could, I could see this just popping open because of all that volume. So strictly on volume. Um, I don't play that usually. I don't recommend it, but, you know, especially when it's hitting this point, I wouldn't do that. But if I had to be a betting person, say, if I, you know, let's just put some money into this. Why not? It's not that expensive. The volume shows us that this could really pop open. But, 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 but if you look over here, I just want to kind of look at it historically. Here's the last time it did that. Guess what? It popped right down. It popped right down on a huge volume day. Here's another one. Let's see what it did here. Here's two good days right here it had. Pop right down. Pop right down. So here's again. Beautiful day, right? Beautiful mm -hmm. here. Bop, 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 right? So realistically, history shows that it doesn't really mm -hmm. do that. Uh, SAVA to the downside. SAVA to the downside. Uh, I think it needs a little bit more. Uh, the volume's kind of down today, and it's kind of hitting this resist uh, support line. So to me, I don't know if I um if I like that one right now. So yeah, man, PYPL, PYPL, uh, consolidation. It needs to break through this pretty strongly. So I need to see like 140, bro, just because it's been so stuck over there. You know, so VRTX, VRTX for a good long term play. Let's look at a ver you see, I see it, how Jordan's asking for a long-term play. Short-term, Kaka. Not a fan, too stretched. But he didn't ask that. So I'm not going to say that. Uh, long-term, I guess we're going to have to go look at maybe like a three-year chart and just kind of see where it's going on here. Um, um, what do I think? This is weekly. Right. I kind of like it. But let's look at it. It's a weekly chart. Yeah. For the long term, it's right mm -hmm. here. So it broke through this line. Uh, this is what I'm seeing, bro. Um, I don't know. How long term are we talking about? <laughs> yeah. How long? I'm going to let's go back maybe a few more years and see it here. Let's see. If it's long term, yeah, uh, yeah, just understand how long term it is. So this is a six year chart. And what I'm seeing here, it's beginning to come, you know, the, realistically, it, what we're looking at is uh, a move to 310. So that's what I'm seeing it. However, we could have some challenges breaking the 280. So to answer your question, yeah, I like it for the long term. Just understand that there's two points there that we're looking for over time. For to next. Oh, that was good. All right, guys. Good show today, man. So if you enjoyed the show, uh, what we want to do is uh, I'm going to take Bella here. She wants to know if you enjoyed the show. Uh, let us know. Give us some hearts. Give us some hearts. Let us know what you thought of today. We'd really love to see hearts. 
And if you're looking to do anything else, again, guys, we have a new new YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube, tr- search Vlad Taman. I don't know if we have a, uh, the actual thing here. But we're going to put this uh, and all the other replays. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube. Do we have the link? Probably not. Um, Dave, if anybody could put the link in there, please let me know. Uh, that would be great. But uh, I, I believe if you just go and search Vlad Taman, um, yeah, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Elliot's going to post it right now. If you subscribed, please let me know. Comment subscribe below. I'd love to see it. Uh, Bella, everyone loves you. The you Android users might have some that? trouble. You see that? Bella, give me a kiss. You don't give me a kiss finally? Last week, you didn't give me a kiss. I'm not leaving the show until you give me a kiss. <laughs> she will not give me a kiss. Uh, actually, it was pretty cool. Today, we were doing yoga. And she actually did yoga with me. I'm actually going to post that today. Uh, you got And I want to know from you guys how that's working out. It's pretty crazy. Because it was she's really doing it. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it, Jason. Make Bella dance. You want to dance? All right, Bella. They want to see you dance again. I don't know if I have any music. All right, Bella. Ready? Okay, guys. Today we're gonna represent the bullish day. Good girl. There you go. And we go bullish and bullish and bearish, bearish, bearish. Bullish and bullish and bearish, bearish, bearish. Hey, bullish. Guys, we will be back here soon on Tuesday. And you, you better be joining us. Yes, you. Okay. We're going to have fun with Elliot here. We're going to have fun with, yeah, me too. Uh, All of us. We're just going to have so much fun. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun, aren't we? Yes. Famous dog, Bella. So, um, yeah, so uh, Janet VGO grad sold today. Nice. Good stuff, man. Thank you for subscribing, guys. I appreciate it. So we're going to have a lot more stuff coming up over there. You'll see we have the whole Predator course on there. Uh, to, we're gonna, uh, Tuesday, we might be back. It might just be Elliot. I'll see. I'm actually going away uh, on an event. So um, Bella might be here. You don't know. We don't know what's going to happen, right? But it's going to be a good time. We're going to see if, where the market's at. Definitely recommend you joining. And tell all your, tell all your friends to join as well. All right, guys? Um, other than that, man, I really appreciate it. I hope you all have an amazing day. Okay, really thank you, everybody. Dave just posted the link for YouTube. Thank you, Dave. And John Mente, thank you. Thank you, everybody, man. Appreciate you all. I hope you all have an amazing, amazing Friday, amazing weekend. Spend time with your families. Uh, w- watch the webinar, comment webinar below. If you didn't watch the webinar, thank you for all the hearts. I love the hearts. Look at all the hearts we're getting. Uh, thank you, Abella. What I told, hold on. Yes, yes, she wanted to say thank you for all the hearts for her too. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, thanks to everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend. We will see you soon.